Hello everybody, it's Denise here at Junk Journal Junkie UK. Um, as you can probably tell from my voice, I'm still not well. Um, I've got some nice strong antibiotics, but unfortunately they make me feel really ill. So I've got now about three quarts of an hour because I just had some before they start to make me feel really sick. So I'm just going to try and come on and just do a half an hour video quickly with you just to say hi. I'm really missing you guys and that I am every... Every day I'm having half an hour to an hour. That's the most I can do at the moment, sitting at my table. So I am still crafting away and we will, as soon as these antibiotics get on top of my illness, we'll get back with a vengeance with this Flower Fairy Journals. Um, but I've got a few things to share with you and a couple of quick makes today, just to keep you interested. Um, so you can probably see this one in front of you. If my voice goes, I'll just carry on making and I'll just put some music behind the rest of the video, but I'm hoping I'll be able to just manage half an hour if I don't talk too much. So, <clears throat> you saw me use this on a, a different envelope, and I said I would do a couple for the signatures for my two journals, and then a craft envelope would fit in the signature, which it will. And um, it's just decoupage tissue paper. And I found, we found <coughs> some words, some fairy words and sayings that I was looking for. Now I know Tanya and a couple of other people gave me a few suggestions of the ones they've used and they are nice. I went on and looked but I was looking for something more, um, less grungy and more sort of pastel in with the colours of the um, signature pages that I'm using and I did find some so I've not been on this site before but it was called Adamo Prints can you see that and it was called Fairy Words and I paid £1.83 and I, I bought some labels as well from another shop that was £1.82 I'll show you them in a minute um, but I can't one of them was half price on sale and I can't remember which one you maybe have to pop on and have a look but um, <coughs> So I've printed them out the proper size, so you can see they're, they're actually fairly decent size. Um, but because I wanted some smaller ones, I then went on and did them two to a page, which is a, a trick Tanya taught me at Tatty Treasures. Thank you, Tanya. And they've come out the perfect size for me, which I'll show you in a minute. So there's two of those coloured ones, and one of those with the sayings. So the two were just words, they're sayings, and some quotes. About fairies. Um, where are the ones I did? Yeah, so these are what they were like when I did the mat. Which are just there's some big ones in there, but you know, just perfect little size tickets for what I'm doing. And obviously that one, that lovely little, my heart has wings and I can fly. So they're beautiful. If you're looking for some pastels, oops you'll be seeing me using those throughout the journals and then um, I just wanted some tags that I could you can tell that I'm not very well that I could just print out and embellish and use you know like you're getting kits well, obviously I'm not I'm not using a kit for me fairy journals so um, so I got these from Junk with Steph I'm wondering if this this is the one that was half price it might not be but there was an awful lot I think there was um I've not got them all here. I think there's something like nine pages of tags and six pages of backing to go, you know, if you want to back on the back of the tags. You probably can't see that, but that has got one on it. Um, and there are some fancy ones. And um, she's got lots of them as well, terrific tags. I think she's got three or four sets, maybe more. But this is what I wanted, just some really plain. There's another one of the backings. Just some plain tags that I could maybe... Um, well you can see I didn't print to fit there but I can maybe stick some flower fairies or birds or sayings on and just go with yep so like I say this is not all the kit by any means um, was, I think there's two pages of these fancy shaped ones yep so they were my little bag in Etsy buys I think I said in a couple of comments to one or two of you while I was um, poorly I was sat in bed a little Etsy extravaganza. Okay, so let's do this first. Wow, 
while I can still talk because <laughs> um, it's a really easy make. Um, if you didn't see me that the video do that the videos there, but I'm sure most of you know how to decoupage onto a book page. Um, and really, all I did was put my envelope over it, the image that I wanted, and drew them round. Simple as that, and then just cut it out on the chopper. Oops, inside the line, so that I had a little bit of a gap. Oops. <coughs> so I don't know if you can see much of my desk, probably not because I've got the camera so you can't, but it's far, far worse than you've ever seen it before. I just have not got the oomph to sort it out today, but um, what did I do there? I don't know. It's full of lovely bits and pieces that I'm dying to, dying to get on and have a play with. I had a feeling I'd missed that. Right, so we'll take some from this side because I think, I think that's where I made the boo boo. Bit more still, I think. Take a little bit from this side then. To be fair. A little bit close to you there, I'll have a look in a minute. Let me just get rid of this chopper and then... <coughs> I'm not sure if it was straight, but I'll have a look in a minute. Alright, let's have a look. Maybe lift you up a little bit. Excuse the mess if you can see it. <laughs> want a little bit of room at the bottom for some lace. I did think about stamping round it underneath and decided not to. Um, you might want to if you're having a go at this. It's just something I, I've done quite a lot just recently on a few of the things I've matted. So, um, I just want to ring the changes a little bit. I thought there was so little craft card showing and I do like the craft card. It, it didn't look to me like there was something missing. And obviously there's a little bit of lace on the bot. <laughs> so I will just say if you haven't uh, seen the video or registered for the giveaway. There is a giveaway happening very soon. Now if I can get myself well enough we are going to the caravan for a couple of days so I will be filming it. Uh, I said I'll be drawing it Monday so I'll put it up on Monday but I think I might be filming it on the Saturday. I think that, that will give everybody lots of time to comment and uh, I think this is sort of a vintagey lace. I got it from a charity shop. It just seems to go nice, nice small, delicate one. Yeah, so as I was saying, <laughs> I will give everybody time to comment on the video because the comments are slowing up now anyway. And um, if you can say if you are UK or the rest of the world, or some people are actually telling me where in the world they are, which is lovely to know. going to be two separate prize pots. One in the UK and one not the UK. And it was very interesting the first sort of, I think with the exception of Tanya, the first sort of 10, 12 people um, were all from not the UK. <laughs> and I was starting to think, oh, looks like Tanya's going to win the UK one. <laughs> She's going to be the only person in it. But there are more now arrived from the uh, the UK. Okay, so I also had, I'm going to do it exactly the same as that other one because I liked it. Well, I am if I can find what I used. Oh, it's there. Just a snip of blue organza. Ah, but that's blue. I've got some white if I can find it. Yeah. Might, might pop 
more it might not, I don't know. I'm not going to be talking much soon because I am starting to hurt. spread your wings and fly be calm and be one with the fairies I think that colour is going to stand out as well so I will pop all those back in a minute I just ink the edges a tad because <coughs> there's one more thing I want to show you let's get this done and move on because it's signature pages Maybe I should have put some fabric tack under there. No, I think it'll hold. I'll fluff it up when it's dry. I love this bird. I think I've said that to you before. Yeah, okay, so they will go in signature with something on the back and probably be a pocket. Really easy, but loved them. Oh, I've got one more thing to share with you. I keep finding things on my desk. So I've had time sitting on the internet looking at things. So I came across this. Packaging on it, flower fairy sticker and album set. Yeah, you can see why I've saved the packaging, can't you? I will be playing with that. Sorry if that is blinding, I forget. Get everything out of the plastic. I'm trying to keep it clean. So it came with, and I was expecting pictures in it where you put them, but it's just got like this. Um, like waxy, I think, waxy paper. So clearly, let me take the silver backed ones out because they're going to dazzle you. So there's two sets of each one. So the silvery black backed ones and then these stickers. You can clearly, let's take one out and try. Pop them on here and create a, a scene, I'm guessing. Oops, stuck my finger on that. And then take them off and move them somewhere else. I've got glue on me got threads on that now yes you can so what I thought was I might um, put, because it's only like six pages I might put a page of e in each um, signature with some of the fairies dotted around and then whoever gets the journal can have a play with them or you know rip it out if they don't like it and then I've got the lovely card as well look at that sorry just can't I can't get enough of these flower fairies, can I? So, just something else we'll be playing with when we put signatures together next week. Or this week. Not when we do, when we have. Right, so this is what I've been making and wanted to share with you. This is what I wanted to share with you the day that I was poorly and I couldn't come on and film. So they are flower fairy pages from the treasuries. I've got the big one here. No, never do I have to. Uh, um, and if you remember, I put them into pages last time with you like this, so that we could see both sides on the one page because they're double double sided pictures. And then I'm taking that thought a bit further, um, especially with these big ones out of the big treasury. And I thought, well, we could put them in like vellum, so they're not pockets. They're sewn in. You can't get to them tell you what you could do though you could stick those stickers on them <laughs> and they'd come off but I thought they'd just make another slightly different um, signature page I mean you could sew um, lace or stick ribbon or all sorts on I've not again I've not taken it any further than that I just thought I'd leave you to play with yours if you like the idea and literally all I did I mean it's a sewing that keeps it keeps it together and I'm <coughs> excuse me I 
I won't sew on camera. I'll quickly show you what I did and then I'm off. <laughs> So these are full pages from the small treasury. I just thought I'd give it a try. And if you can't see what I'm doing, I'm lining them up on the um, green mat. Don't know if the paper was square on it. That's better. So get the vellum square on it and then line up those square on it. It's not a perfect art, but again, and you can see the pages are slightly different sizes. They're going to be on different sides of the journal. <coughs> <coughs> so then all I did was Keep them in place. Oops. And that glue does dry clear. And I didn't move it, I left it there for a while. <coughs> these tickets away while I'm talking to, to dry and then I turned it over I just put a couple of blobs on the other side of glue <coughs> and then I stitched it when it was dry Necessarily moving it again. And again, you can, if you don't get it square, if they move around, you can uh, jolly it up, up with lace and ribbon and you know, hide any wonkiness. Um, I've left a lot of white round that because I've just put the whole page in. That one does look slightly wonky to me, could be the way I've cut it. But obviously if you just leave it to dry and then you, you know, it doesn't move at all, I had no problem with it moving while I was sewing round it. And I, you know, I quite like the grungy so I just cut it. Um, I don't know if I cut it by hand, I think I probably did, you know, and I did a um, wibbly wobbly line round it. Look, I didn't particularly try to keep it straight or whatever. I mean, if you like, they are sewed up there. If you like the lovely pristine stitching, you can take your time and do that. I just, uh, oh, it's not a, a grungy journal. I do like the, the grungy type junk journal, so. So yeah, I was really pleased with those. And those are going to be nice additions. So that's definitely it from me now, guys. Thank you so much for coming on and spending time with me. Um, I'm up to 320 subscribers this morning, which is fabulous, considering I haven't been on. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you'd go along and uh, hit the like and the subscribe. That would be fab. Um, I lose subscribers as well as gain them. It, it uh, goes up and down. But thank you so much. Hope you're all well. Have a lovely day and hopefully I'll be back with you on top form soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>